Okay. Um, just got some window stuff done. And um, some transparencies done for the windows. Now I thought I had them measured right. They're too small. I'm going to have to go and do them again. Oh, that, that one's too small so I need to make them a little bit bigger and a little bit wider though. Them ones are fine. I can cut the bottom off them. Maybe I'll just use them. Done on transparencies just so the church... Ah, I've got windows. Hello, this is tape 5,679. Okay. I've got some transparencies done. And I'm uh, sorry I just hit the screen. And um, I really hope that um, you can see that that um, I've done for the window. And I'll bring it a bit closer to see you can. So it just looks like I've got stained glass stained glass window there. And uh, what I did is got it all done on a transparency. Um, and I cut them out. Transparencies are great. Yeah. Some of them fit, some of them don't. I'm not real good with a measure and ruler, so I've got heaps. So I just cut them a little bit bigger than what um, what windows what the windows are. And uh, you know. Put that one up there for now. This is up there. This is the side window. This is one I cut out a little bit earlier. It's an arch window. It's um, so I'm going to put that one in there. Now I use a toothpick. Oh, I just dropped this thing all over. This is PVA, PVC, PVA glue. It's um, left in the container and it dries out a little bit so it's a little bit thicker than um, your normal stuff. Make sure you put it on the right side. Very, very thinly. Um, I'm using the uh, wood glue because I figured that uh, It, uh, it was less likely to affect the uh, plastic than uh, anything else. And uh, a bit a bit worried about doing some things and uh, there. But I'm, I'm getting there. I, I've got a few ideas and what I'm going to do and. Hopefully, it'll be done. If I can get the stuff I want from uh, the UK in time, I'll uh, I'll have everything done. If not, I'll just put the roof on so you can't get it off. Anyway, being plastic, I was looking for some blue tack. Don't have any blue tack to put on the end of a stick at the moment. So, just very carefully put it there. Try not to move it around too much and uh, see if you can get it so it's sort of central and that doesn't look too bad and uh, quite happy with that and uh, I'll leave that one as it is. So that's basically how I do them. I'm going to proceed and do the rest of the windows now I got some photographs of artwork that I was going to put inside and I really wanted to. I couldn't get them to turn out light enough to actually be appealing inside. So I'm going to make see if I can do enough on the outside to be presentable. So anyway. Thank you. That's it for now. I'll catch you later. Bye. Yep. G'day everyone. Um.
what I've just done here is this is the base and I want to put it on a like a small hill so I lined the outside of it with um, balsa and glued some paper brick or stone actually around the outside I think it's going to look good the, the ground will sort of come down a slight hill there that being the front doors here I am I'm just behind the camera now all I've done is glued the walls on um, uh, the front wall, though it's not the entry foil to the church, but it is the front wall, the back wall, um, and the uh, the side walls to the church. I've um, decided I want the front wall to be stoned, to be stoned. So I'm going to put that there, um, mainly because I've used stone underneath, and I think it'd just give a bit of contrast, bit of bit of something interesting to look at. So. Um, that's where I'm up to. Okay guys, okay. Hope I'm not in the way too much. I've been, I've rushed ahead a little bit here. I've done some down pipes, a roof guttering. I've done the roof. I've changed the front of the church. I made it uh, stone. Uh, it's got a new roof. Um, put a cross at the front. Uh, and gone around it. I've got a little bit left to do, um, not much. The original roof would have fitted over the whole lot, it's a bit of um, laser cut uh, uh, board and I didn't like it at all. So I cut it down so it fitted inside the walls, uh, put a, sh put a uh, supporting pieces on inside the wall, glued the roof inside so it's actually level with the peaks at the front. I then set about finding some cardboard. Got this from a scrapbooking supply place. Uh, the one that's on there is actually red. I know it looks like it's silver, but it's uh, red. Um, and I painted it, because I've got an air gun down there, and I painted it with metallic paint. Which, by the way, doesn't go far for the price, but anyway, I've done some metallic paint. Um, which you can see the results of. The guttering was done with um, a YouTube uh, U-shaped uh, plastic stuff cut to length, painted with that aluminium coloured paint. I have a smaller I-beam um, that fitted over the ends and actually looked pretty good painted them all with aluminium. The downpipes are a bit of round um, tubing that I painted aluminium and glued on. These little rust spots, though they look more like bird um, bat done to me at the moment, but they're all real rust. Um, went outside, got some rust, grinded it up in a container and painted it on with a um, doll um, lacquer. Uh, it's actually called flat clear um, paint and uh, to act as a glue and hold it. It's not shiny, it's dull so it gives me that uh, old look. Um, I've got to put some um, rust run on here. I'm after a product which I can't find but been told the gaming, gaming supplies have them. So that's about it. Uh, I broke it so many times it's unreal. Done both sides. Um, another thing is on the roof for some reason they never actually have corrugated unless they're brand new that's completely corrugated. So I went around and hit it with my finger to flatten out some of the corrugations as you can see here there and everywhere because I thought it looked more natural. I got the down would have loved to have done the side up as an afterthought with um, boarding. Uh, had too much done at the time when I decided to.